Hello boys and girls, happy Tuesday. It is our library day, so I'm here with another wonderful book. Um, it's actually the next title in the Those Darn Squirrels collection, and it's called Those Darn Squirrels and the Cat Next Door. And I'm really excited because um, the cover gives me a clue, I think, about what kind of character we're gonna be meeting in this book, and makes me feel like we're off to a good start because he looks or she looks I don't know if it's a boy or a girl but this cat looks pretty mischievous what do you think well let's find out I have to also show you the inside illustration because I think this picture also is giving us a clue about what kind of character this cat is <laughs> It looks like he or she looks like they're up to no good. All right. Old Man Footwire lived on the edge of the forest just outside town. He was a terrible grump, and in the wintertime, he was even grumpier than usual. Whenever it snowed, he would shut his eyes tight and think of summer. Kind of like me, as I'm thinking about when the COVID-19 shelter in place is going to be lifted. He missed the sunshine, suntan lotion, and weenie roasts. But most of all, he missed the birds who flew south when it got cold. During the long, lonely winter months, the only critters left in Fookwire's backyard were... You guessed it, squirrels. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are the champions of the forest. They are craftier than beavers, smarter than foxes, and swifter than rabbits. They are also full of mischief. Think in your head for a moment. What is one example of a time when you've seen the squirrels in the forest be a little mischievous in the story. Not this particular story, but in the collection of those darn squirrels. What is one example of a time when the squirrels from this series have been a little mischievous? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a moment, too. I know. I have one. What about when they designed their flying machines to fly south with all of the birds? Or they set the trap in those darn squirrels? Hmm, what do you think? When it got too cold outside, the squirrels would drop in through Footwire's mail slot and visit him at home. They'd warm themselves by the fire and finish the old man's crossword puzzles. When Fookwire woke up, he chased them out with a broom. Then he'd shake his old man fist and yell, Those darn squirrels! <laughs> old man Fookwire thought spring would never come, but eventually... The forest bloomed and the birds returned from their winter vacation. Whirly birds chomped on tumbleberries, bonga birds snacked on honey snaps, and the flugel bird ate farfel seeds until he got so full he had to lie down. Footwire danced through the yard with delight. He set up his easel and brushes. Then he painted the birds till he got blisters on his fingers. Tired and happy, the old man went inside for a quiet afternoon snack. Suddenly, kaboom! Old man Fookwire spilled cottage cheese all over his suspenders. Kablam! The flugel bird fell out of his nest. Kablooey! The squirrels had to restart their annual chess tournament. The noise was coming from the house across the stream. It was the sound of a small woman 
unloading enormous crates moving in. Making sure you can see the pictures. Bookwire's new neighbor was little old lady who, the town baker. The only thing sweeter than the pies who baked was the little old lady herself. Everyone in town loved her, but no one could stand her cat, Muffins. He was a real jerk. Who didn't see things that way? She thought Muffins was a cuddly honey bunny. But after the infamous poodle incident, she decided to move to the forest so that her cat could make some new friends. What do you think happened in the poodle incident? I see it here. Kind of like a memory in a picture. Hmm, what does it look like happened with the poodle? Looks like maybe the, po the poodle got so scared of the cat, ran away in a hurry, but I don't know what caused it to get so scared. I wonder. After unpacking her crates, little old lady who baked a tumbleberry pie. Then she and Muffins went to say hello to their new neighbor. Bookwire despised conversation. So he hid behind the drapes. The squirrels were scared of the cat, so they hid inside the drain pipes. The birds weren't sure why everyone was hiding, but they stuffed themselves down the chimney just to be safe. You see, old man Fookwire does look very nervous about having to answer the door for his new neighbor. He doesn't want to chat with her. Eventually, who got tired of waiting for Fookwire to answer the door? She walked around the front, pushed the pie through the mail slot, and went home. Normally, old man Fookwire hated pie, but this one smelled delicious. He took a deep whiff and closed his eyes. When he opened them, the squirrels were licking the plate clean. Those darn squirrels, shouted Fookwire. But they look very pleased, don't they? They look, they look very cute and happy down there. Full and happy, the squirrels stumbled from the house where Muffins ambushed them. The dastardly cat grabbed one squirrel and gave him a wet willy. He snatched another and gave her a noogie. Then he tied two squirrels' tails together. Luckily, little old lady who returned before Muffins could do more. She scooped him up and scratched him under the chin. Come now, schnookum, she cooed. It's time for dinner. You can play with your new friends another day. So does who think that Muffins is a naughty cat or does she think that Muffins is a well-behaved, polite cat? What do you think? I think she thinks he's a nice cat or she, Muffins is a nice cat. And I think that because she treats Muffins very kindly and she doesn't get upset with Muffins, so that makes me think that she doesn't think Muffins is doing anything wrong. Or maybe she doesn't know what Muffins is doing. I'm not sure. The next morning, Muffins burst into the yard, terrifying the birds and interrupting old man Fookwire's painting. Then the sneaky cat pounced on an unsuspecting group of squirrels and gave them all wedgies. Not an easy thing to do because generally squirrels do not wear underpants. The squirrels were furious. The birds flew up to the treetops and refused to come down. And old man Fookwire was so upset he wrote a letter to the mayor to complain about his new neighbors. Yeah, 
because he looks very angry. And Muffins does look very naughty with that face. I think Muffins has too many pairs of naughty pants. That night, the squirrels held a meeting to figure out what to do about the cat next door. They ate cheese puffs and drank ginger ale to help them think. Finally, they had it. The perfect plan. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what their plan is based on these pictures, but it looks like it has something to do with string and the birds and water. And all of those things are going to get rid of the cat. But I don't know. I don't know exactly what the plan is. When muffins came over the next day, the birds were feeding peacefully beneath a tree. A wicked smile came over the cat's fluffy face. He wriggled his haunches and launched himself through the air. The frightened birds swooped into the sky, yanking the strings the squirrels had tied to their tail feathers. The strings sprang the trap and the cat was doused with a gallon of freezing cold water. Muffins let out a furious yowl. Wow, look at that face. It looks so angry. Old man Fookwire ran outside when he heard the terrible noise. Great googly moogly, he exclaimed. That pathetic wretch is no bigger than a squirrel. It was true. Underneath all his fluff and fuzz, Muffin was, Muffins was nothing but a skinny malink. He lowered his head in embarrassment and sloshed his way home as fast as he could. The squirrel's plan had worked perfectly. They gave each other high fives. The baba bird snickered, the yaba birds chuckled, and the flugel bird enjoyed a hearty guffaw. Flookwire snapped his suspenders with delight. Those darn squirrels, he said fondly. This time he said it with a smile on his face, which means sometimes he doesn't mind the squirrel so much. And here you can see Muffins. Without all of its fluff and fuzz, it's really just very long and skinny. Old Man Footwire never warmed up to his new neighbors. He was a grump after all. But little old lady who became quite good chums with the birds and the squirrels. Each Saturday when the bakery closed, she brought all the unsold cakes and pies and cookies home. She set them out on her picnic table and everyone gathered for a delicious fun filled feast. I think I would quite enjoy a picnic with cake and pie and cookies, wouldn't you? If you were going to have a picnic though, what else would you bring? Because that doesn't seem like quite enough. Hmm. I might bring some cheese and some crackers, maybe some apples. What else would you bring to a picnic? Everyone except the cat next door who refused to leave the house ever again. All right, what did you think of those darn squirrels and the cat next door? What did you think of that book in the collection? Um, today, your challenge is going to be to design your own plan to get rid of muffins, the cat next door. So they came up with a plan with some wires and the very, very cold water. And it made Muffin so angry and embarrassed once he went from being this size to being his very long skinny self. 
that he never wanted to come back out to mess around with them anymore. So what would be a plan you could design to get rid of the cat next door muffins? Um, you're going to follow the link onto Seesaw um, to share your work if you decide to do this bonus activity. But I really hope you do because you come up with the best plans for these bonus activities and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great time designing a plan to get rid of muffins. All right, see ya.